Hey everyone, welcome to my OpenStack tutorial series. I'm Angel with Tech Tutelage, and in this first video, we will start by installing the tools we need to set up a single node OpenStack home lab. I will be doing this on my old iMac running macOS Catalina, but these instructions should work on any other OS or macOS, as long as it's not running on an ARM processor and you have at least four CPUs and 16 gigs of RAM. We will start by installing VirtualBox for virtualization and set up Ubuntu server with a static IP IP and bridge network as our base operating system. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the upcoming videos in this OpenStack series. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post in the comments under the video. Let's begin by downloading VirtualBox. To do that, all you need to do is open your web browser and search for VirtualBox. The very first search result should be Oracle VirtualBox. You can go ahead, click on Downloads, and from here, you can download VirtualBox that is compatible with your operating system. In my case, I'm not gonna download the latest version of VirtualBox 7. I'm gonna go ahead and download VirtualBox 6, and the only reason I'll do that is because I'm running old Catalina operating system and VirtualBox 7 is not working very well on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. Again, you can download the latest version. And from here, I'm gonna choose VirtualBox for Mac OS. That will start the download. Once you have that DMG package downloaded, you can go ahead and click on it to open it. And then here, you can click on a VirtualBox package to start the VirtualBox installer. Here you can click continue and continue again. And then you can go ahead and click install. You will prompt it to enter your password. You can go ahead and do so. And then you can go ahead and close. You'll be asked if you want to move your installer package in the trash. I'm going to keep mine, but if you want, you can delete it. And then you can go ahead and close. And the next thing that you want to do is probably go ahead, open VirtualBox to make sure that it's running. There you go. As you can see, our VirtualBox is up and running. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and download Ubuntu Server. To do that, all you have to do is again in your web browser, just search for Ubuntu Server. And you can go ahead and click on Get Ubuntu Server Download. And click accept and here we're going to want to download ubuntu server version 2204 as that's the recommended version for openstack the download will begin shortly and depending on your download speed it may take up to a few minutes once you have the ubuntu iso downloaded you can go ahead and build your virtual machine so to do that go ahead and open your virtual box and then here you can go ahead and click on new. And if you downloaded the latest version of VirtualBox, your menus may look a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same idea as we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call mine OpenStack. You're gonna have to choose the operating system that you're installing. In my case, that will be Linux. And then here we're gonna pick Ubuntu 64. And then you can go ahead and click on continue. Again, your menus may look a little bit different than the latest virtual box. Here you're gonna pick how much RAM you wanna to allocate to your virtual machine. I'm gonna give mine 16 gigs of RAM, which is since this is the minimum required. Here I'm just gonna keep the defaults. And for the disk size, I'm gonna give it a 500 gigs and you can go ahead and click on create. Now, once you've created your virtual machine, don't start it yet. We wanna go click on settings here and we're gonna make a couple of configuration changes. If you're running on the latest virtual box, you've already probably picked how many CPUs you wanna allocate to your virtual machine. But in my case, I have to do that here. So I'm gonna go here to processor and I'm gonna select four CPUs, which is the minimum CPUs for OpenStack. And then the next thing I wanna do is go to network here. And if you're on the latest virtual box, make sure you do that as well go to network and we're gonna change our network adapter from NAT to bridged adapter. Here you can select your physical interface that you want that bridge to. I'm gonna keep mine to the ethernet, but you have an option if you wanna change it to the Wi-Fi. that's up to you. And then the next thing is you wanna click down here on advanced and change the promiscuous mode to allow all. Once you have that done, go ahead and click OK, and then you can go ahead and start your virtual machine. You'll be prompted to pick the ISO with your Debian installer, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And if you're running the latest virtual box, you've probably already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead here, click on Add, and select this Ubuntu ISO right here. Then we can go ahead and click on Open, Choose, and Start. That will start the installation process of the Ubuntu. Here you can just click on Capture, and then you can go ahead and hit enter to start. Now I'm gonna make this screen a little bit bigger since it's easier to see. So to do that, you can go ahead and click in that little monitor down here and go to virtual screen one. And then here, I'm gonna give it 175%. That will make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Here, I'm gonna pick English. You can pick your language. 
I'm going to continue without updating. I can do the updates later. Again, for the keyboard configuration, I'll keep the defaults to English US. Here, I'm going to go ahead and make a change. I will install Ubuntu Server Minimized. It is much smaller and it's much faster to install. And a lot of the things that come with the full server, we don't really care about. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. Here's when you want to set up your static IP. And the reason you want to do that is you don't want your OpenStax IP to change all the time. So you want to have a static IP. I'm going to go ahead and change that. So to change it to a static IP, all we have to do is go ahead and tap down to here and then hit an enter. And then from here, we're going to go down to IPv4. And again, we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to change this from DHCP to a manual. And here you have to enter your subnet. In my case, that will be 192.168.0.0 slash 24. And the address that I want to give to my server will be 192.168.0.5. For gateway, it will be 192.168.0.1. And for the name servers, I'm just going to give it the Google name servers, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And again, when you're doing this, make sure that this fits with your LAN network. So make sure that the subnet is appropriate, the static IP address that you're given is available, and that you're choosing the correct gateway. The next thing is you want to go ahead and save this settings, and then you can go ahead, click on done. Here you can just skip this step, so just click on done, and again, click on continue. No changes here, so keep the defaults. Go ahead and click on done, done again, and continue. Here you can choose a name. So I'm going to say Ubuntu. For a server name, I'll call it OpenStack. For username, again, I'm going to call it Ubuntu. And you can pick a password for your user. And you can go ahead and click on Done. You can skip this part. You want to install the OpenSSH server. That way you'll be able to remote into your server. And then you can go ahead and click on Done. We don't need any of these packages, so we can just click Done and continue with the installation. And once the installation is complete, you can go ahead and reboot your server. You'll see these two errors, not a big deal. You can just go ahead and hit enter here. So now that the server is up and running, I'm going to go ahead and just test my connectivity. So since we did the bridged adapter and we give a server IP from my home network, I should be able to SSH into this server from another computer on my home network. So I'm going to just move away this screen share connection and I'm going to open my terminal on my other Mac. And from here, I'm going to try to SSH to that Ubuntu server that we just created as a virtual machine on a virtual box running on my old iMac that's running Mac OS Catalina. So I'm going to go ahead and try to SSH into it to make sure that that virtual machine is on my local network. So SSH, the username will be Ubuntu. And the IP that I gave to that server was 192.168.0.5. Here, I'm going to accept that fingerprint. Oop, misspelled it. Yes. And then I'm going to enter the password. And there you go. I'm logged in into that server. If I run the uptime, you'll see that the server has only been running for a couple of minutes. The next thing I'm going to do here is quickly, since I'm on a server, I'm going to go ahead, switch to root, and give my root user a password. I always like to do that. So sudo su. And then I'm going to enter my Ubuntu user's password. And to change your root user's password, all you have to do is P-A-S-S-W-D and pick the user's password. Now that we have all that done, we are ready for the next step, which is to install OpenStack. And I'm going to show you how to do that in my next video. So please don't forget to subscribe so you can get notification when my video is up. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please click on the like button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post under the video.